it would appear that winter is here in the Ohio Valley. In case you don't know where I'm at, I'm in Toronto, not Canada, Ohio, which is right on the Ohio-Pennsylvania border, about 30 miles west of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and about 80 miles south of Cleveland, you know, the mistake on the lake. And winter has decided to join us today, but you and me, we're going to talk multimeters. Over the last couple of years, you and I spent a lot of time together looking at multimeters. Everything from the cheapest $9 multimeter through a $20 multimeter, $24 multimeter, <laughs> you know, up through some halfway decent ones. And we always talked about your accuracy and safety. And what's the one thing I always say? If you're doing this for a living, get yourself a fluke. But we've never really taken a look at a fluke. We've never really talked about what makes the fluke different from these others. So that's what we're going to do today. So here's my fluke 26.3, and here's an Aning AN870. Basically the same kind of multimeter. We're going to take a look at the insides, and we'll see what uh, what makes them different. These uh, holsters on here are very tight. But once you get a, quarter, a corner off, they start moving a little better. That took a minute. Get these screws out of here and open her up. And we'll do the same with the fluke. Alright, so we've opened up the cases, I've removed the inane completely. And if we start taking a look here, there's our fuses on the inane, and there are our fuses on the fluke. Big difference. Huge. These are busman fuses, they're you know, industry standard type fuses. These are unknown Chinese fuses. Probably still going to work just fine, but they're unknown. You know what I mean? Completely unknown. Now you're going to notice that, you know, here's the front of this board. So if we were to hold them together, something like this, there's nothing around this one, around the Anang. The fluke is completely shielded inside another plastic case here. So let's remove that and go a layer deeper. Okay, I removed those screws that were holding this plastic shield on here. And this shield is for nothing other than your protection. In case, you know, something goes bad and blows up, this shield will protect you. And you're also going to notice that the LCD is firmly held in there. And now we're on to the main board of the fluke. So here's the front of each machine. And the first thing that you're going to be able to tell is that the fluke is double-sided. Whereas the Chinese meters are mainly single side. I mean, they have some some switches and stuff, but no components. So if we just look at component count, I mean, there's one side, two sides, right? We can take a look at the switch here. Now the switch in the Chinese meter has some little copper contacts that rotate around here bog standard. And then if you look at the fluke, you're going to notice this nice 
rotary switch here. Very high current. And then if we look at protection, which is the big difference, and that's why we're doing this, is to examine how they offer protection to the end user. The only protection, other than the fuses, is a single PTC. Whereas we look at the Fluke, we've got three PTCs, uh, we've got the massive, what is that, resistor, we've got a little resistor divider network. It's just all around a more solid and better board. Look at the size of the diodes. Those SMD diodes on the back of that board. Compare that to the single diode on the Chinese board. And you can see why the Fluke is just a better, all around, safer, more solid meter. That being said, you don't need the Fluke. If you're just messing around at home, doing experiments, low voltage DC stuff, any one of these Chinese meters will be perfectly fine for your needs. Who needs the fluke? Electricians, HVAC guys, electrical engineers, anybody who's using, you know, life threatening voltages. You know, you're talking 440 triple phase. You don't want to mess up and put this thing through a current into, into a current measuring mode when you're actually trying to measure voltage. You'll short it out, it will explode in your hands. This one won't do so well, but it's not going to kill you. Look at that fuse. That is a one kilovolt fuse. Compare that to that. Which one do you feel safer using? That's all I'm saying. In a professional situation, working with high and dangerous voltages, the Fluke is simply the better option. More protection for you. A complete shielding system to protect these components from exploding inside of a case. I mean, hey, can't get much better than that. And this is a solid, solid case with shielding. You know, you're, it's, it's a solid. The ratings on the Fluke, you know you can believe. They're, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can get up in there. We've got UL listed, SA, and CE. You know those are real. The ratings on this one, you know, made by some young guy. <laughs> so, all right, that's all I wanted to show you. If you guys enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace and Merry Christmas.